So I'm going to start off with this eye primer. This is the first time I've used this and it kept my eyeshadow in place all day. So I'll definitely be using this one again. It's from Sigma. So I'm just putting that all over my eyelid and then going in with my Morphe palette. This is the 39S. And starting with this brown shade, I'm going to work this into the crease and just build up the color. I don't know why, for some reason today I just wanted to do my eyes first, which is something I never do, but I just went with it. So yeah, building this shade up in the crease, and then I take the darker shade, and I'm mostly focusing this on the outer and the inner part of the eye, because it's gonna be a spotlight eye, I'm not gonna worry about the center of the eye, because we're gonna lighten that anyway. So just really focusing this product, as I said, on the inner and outer corner, and then just going in to soften them out with a bigger, fluffier brush, just to make sure everything blends into everything. And then I just took some light shadow. This is from MAC, it's called Blank Type, and I just did this underneath my brow bone. Using like a light matte creamy shade helps the shadows blend really nicely and fade out. And then I take some of my concealer in, on the back of my hand and onto a flat brush then. As you can see here, I'm just pressing this in the center of the eye. And then I take the excess of the brush and I am blending that in. So I just take my time doing this. And after every blend, I'll give the brush a little wipe so there's no product on it. And this will just help it blend where you want it to blend rather than too much of the concealer going like all over the lid because you want it just to remain in the center of the eye so i'm just wetting my brush with some fix plus and going in with this lovely pink champagne shade and pressing this all over the lid i did go in with my finger on this as well just to intensify it so you can do whatever works for you a brush finger if you do use a brush i recommend that you wet the brush because it helps intensify the shade so just pressing that all over the lid and then just softly feathering the sides so it blends nicely into the matte shades. And then I take this really pretty glitter shade and just press it on top. You can't really see in the video, but in real life it just gives it that really pretty sparkle. Now I'm taking my roller liner from Benefit and I'm just taking, making a really, really, really small line just along my lash line. And then going in with my mascara, this is my Nabla mascara, which I really, really, really like. And then in with the lashes, so I'm taking my Ella lashes, surprise, surprise. I think I've used these in like 95% of my tutorials. Now we're going in to skin, taking my Marc Jacobs primer and priming. Now taking my Cover FX drops and I'm just putting some on my cheekbones. As you can see, this is like definitely too dark for me. I couldn't wear it on its own, but it's just nice to add that inner glow underneath my foundation. So I'm taking my foundation and putting this on top. I'm mixing my two NARS foundations. I have the Radiant Longwear and then the Sheer Glow. So I'm mixing those two together. Sorry, my cats always go crazy behind me when I am doing a voiceover, so. If you can hear crazy little feet running around, as always, it's my cats. Now in with my Fenty concealer, and I'm gonna use this to highlight and conceal. I'm using a bit more than I usually do because we're going for a more full-on makeup look. This brush I'm blending it in with is a Tarte brush. There's no name or number on it. I always get asked when I use this brush. Um, yeah, it's a Tarte one, it's from one of their holiday collections. I just really like the size of it, it's a perfect size for like getting in underneath the eye. And then I'm taking my Huda Beauty, this is her new product, it's called Tantor. So it's a creamy contour, which I really, really, really like it. So I'm just using this just for my cheekbones, you know me, I like a good defined cheek. So I'm using the shade Light just to really just kind of make my cheekbones pop. See, it just gives it that really nice subtle effect. And then I'm gonna set all that using my Hourglass Translucent Powder. So I'm mainly focusing this on the T-zone, like always. 
Then I take a big fluffy brush, as you can see here, and take some excess product and just dust it all over. This just helps set everywhere else without kind of making it too powdery looking. Because I'm gonna warm up my skin now with my bronzer from Morphe. This is the shade Icon. Just to add a little bit of warmth to my skin. I really like this bronzer because like you can build it up or you can have it really, really nice and subtle. And now underneath my eyes, I'm taking this brown shade and just getting right in underneath my eyes. And then blending it out with the first shade that I used. Then I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Pink of Me pencil. It's just a really subtle, subtle pink. And I use this in my waterline just to make my eyes pop. And then just finishing that off then with mascara. Now I take these two shades together and use that for my inner corner, just to add a little pop. Now for my blush, I'm taking my Warm Soul from MAC, just to add a little bit of colour. And in with my favourite, I've been wearing this so much lately, this is my Lightgasm palette from Charlotte Tilbury, and I mix the two light shades to highlight all over. Loves. No, don't bite my hair. Current situation. Hazley likes to just hang about, like this is what she does. <laughs> don't ruin my eye makeup, I just did it. <laughs> and for my lips I'm taking my Child Star liquid lipstick from Too Faced which is probably one of my favourite nudes if not my favourite nude and on top of that I'm putting the Orgasm Gloss from NARS for that really soft pretty nude combo that is it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one